Hello and welcome back to this Library of Verona series. In this video, we'll be taking on the Leo Association Section 2. This reception gives us some very useful pages and passes, so let's get started. The Leo Association Section 2 Episode 1 is a two-act fight with both acts facing you against five generic Leo Section 2 fixers. These are the first generic enemies that have the speed passive, so if you're building a wild of floors at once and still using non-speed librarians, this will hopefully help you out. For the rest of us, they also have Fervor, which is one of the strongest universal power boosters, giving all of the users offensive dice one power at emotion level 3 and above. This means that the enemies in this reception get very strong the longer the fight goes on, as a few of their pages synergize with high emotion levels as well. Their first page is Frontal Assault. This is a Pierce-focused light regeneration page with two offensive dice. Compared to Extract Fuel, its roll average is 1.5 lower and there isn't any healing, but it gives you a guaranteed emotion coin because of the second die having adjacent rolls. Compared to Energy Cycle, its roll average is 0.75 lower and you lose the charge gain for dice type consistency and, again, a guaranteed emotion coin. You may prefer having a defensive die so you can potentially clash in a pinch, or the second offensive die so you deal more damage when free hitting. Their next card is Rushdown, a 1 cost page with decent rolls and a combat start that increases damage dealt, a 1 that hoses defensive dice, and a 2 that inflicts a bit of burn. Thankfully, this page gets outrolled by most value pages, even getting somewhat countered by Extract Feel due to it being equal on 1 and blocked on 2, so I wouldn't be too scared of it. Their next page is Inner Ardor. This is a 2 cost page with a decent block on 1 and a strong slash on 2. Additionally, this page gives a guaranteed emotion coin on use. This page is alright, but gets outclassed by another page that we'll be seeing later and is easily countered by having a block on 2 or just ignoring it. Only having 2 dice hurts this page a decent amount, especially since it only has 1 offensive die. So even though its average roll is 7.25, which is very comparable to tailoring for half the light, I don't find myself using it too much. Flow of the Sword is in an even worse position. This page has pitiful rolls for a 2 cost, only saved by the fact that it becomes a 1 cost at emo 3 and higher. But even then, its rolls aren't that great and lowering the light cost doesn't help the rolls get any stronger. I used this page a lot in my first playthrough, but I can't really understand why. Anyway, their last 2 cost is Fleet Edge. This one actually has 3 dice, but still gets outrolled fairly easily by most 2 and 3 costs. It slots nicely into Pierce Focus decks as a value page though, especially with the two haste as a little bonus. Emotional Turbulence is their first 3 cost and by far their most threatening page. Compared to Repressed Flesh, it has a 0.33 higher roll average, but all the dice gain power for every 2 emotion levels the user goes up, making this one of the strongest pages since it also has a block counter die on top of inflicting 3 burn. Its downfall is a lack of utility, but it still finds its way into basically every deck for a decent amount of time. Sturdy Defense is an interesting case. It seems annoying to play against as its rolls are very high, but you can literally just ignore it since its only offensive die is very weak. I'm also not a huge fan of putting it in my decks for a few reasons, such as low damage and awkward dice placement. I do, however, like how it draws a page and can draw another if you win a clash with the block die, which is quite likely, as well as the amount of stagger damage it can inflict, but will of the prescript this is not. Generally, as long as you avoid clashing into sturdy defense and prioritize clashing with emotional turbulence and flow of the sword, you shouldn't have too many issues. Having pages with a block on 2 will be nice to counter inner ardor, and you might end up needing a lot of sustain in the form of haulers, keeping in stride, or corpse cleanup if you're really struggling. Finally, since you'll have the same amount of dice as the Leo fixers, having counter dice or making sure to have hanging defensive dice will make the fight easier. This reception doesn't give you any strong key pages, as although the Leo fixers have speed and fervor, they don't have much else and their stats are just okay, so you're better off just attributing fervor to your other librarians and slotting in emotional turbulence into basically all your decks. In the next video, we'll be starting the Firelift Path and taking on the thumb. I'll see you soon, and as always, Thank you for watching.